This is a fun segment, tail or bail. Basically take a betting trend and determine whether it's predictive and something you want to tail or bail is just coincidence, much like walking by the roulette table and seeing a bunch of things uh, all in a row of one color. So we have the Phoenix Suns right now, 10 straight unders. Now, unlike the casino floor, there is market correction, but it's interesting, Devin Booker's returning from injury, all signs point to his being uh, back on the lineup, so he's probable. So, you know, we expect the big three to be intact for this game in Cleveland. So what do you do here? Because we do have some moving parts. Well, Suns are five and a half point favorites in Cleveland. I actually think there's value on the Suns. Uh, some books haven't posted a line at the time of this recording. So I think this line's higher. So if there's some five and a halfs out there when you're watching this, I would highly advise it because I think there's value there. I don't think they've accounted for Booker. And remember, Donovan Mitchell's out. Evan Mobley's out, so that's two key players, maybe the two best players on the Cavs roster, and they've been a little shaky offensively, so I would go under here. I think under 223.5 is a good play, so I'm tailing the trend of under for the Suns, and I expect it to be 11 straight, and I also am laying the points with uh, Phoenix here. I think this number should be higher. Cleveland's got its moments, for sure, but over 48 minutes, I've been a little disappointed with some of the moves bigger staffs made the last few weeks. He's had trouble with some injuries in the lineup. Dean Wade was out in the most recent loss to the Nets on Sunday. And for what it's worth, when Cleveland does not have the rest advantage, so the other team has more rest because the Suns last played on Saturday, Cavs last played on Sunday, uh, the ATS is 5-11-1 for the Cavs. So for what it's worth, like I said, only a sample size of 17 games. But, hey, we're also tailing. 